This duckling is two weeks old, and it's really starting to feel like a duck and getting big. Over the last two weeks, it's been so much fun having these ducklings, and you guys have just been giving me a ton of feedback and asking me a whole bunch of great questions. And so in today's video, I'm going to take a little time out to answer those questions for you guys. They have a uh, chick starter, which is just like a blend of a bunch of grains and corn, um, readily available at all times, but I'm finding that they go absolutely nuts over these greens. This means I'm going to have to get them outside pretty soon. Plus, they're getting so big, I'm worried that they could jump over the edge of the brooder there. You guys are going to do so good on pasture someday. These aren't even really good greens. These are just carrot greens and they're going nuts. So my first question comes from my friend Camilla. And she asks, can the ducklings come inside? And the answer is technically yes, but practically no. Um, when it comes down to it, we keep them in the brooder here in the barn. Um, the ducklings make an awful stink and a mess. You know, the water splashing, and I've made countless videos about the water splashing and dealing with the water situation. Uh, just make it really impractical and kind of gross to keep 40 ducklings inside the house. Um, you know, generally speaking, we actually try to keep all the animals out of the house. So the cats live here in the barn, the ducks live out here in the barn. If we get any other animals, maybe other than a dog, they probably live out here in the barn too. Um, hey, that's why farms have barns, right? To keep the animals. So the next question comes from my friend Lael in Washington, D.C. And she asks, are they calling you Papa yet? Um, and I would say absolutely not. You know, you can look on the internet and see all these videos about uh, people who have raised ducklings to think that they, the human or the mama duck, our ducks are not that way at all. They cower in terror every time I walk into the, the brooder room. They absolutely despise when I change their shavings and bedding. Um, they freak out. Like I'm, I've had times where I've been worried that they were going to kill one another because they just pile up into one corner freaking out from uh, me trying to do a, a change of shavings or just put down a fresh bed of shavings. Um, so, so they do not call me Papa. They are very skittish. The Khaki Campbell breed, which is the type of duck that we have, is, is in general somewhat skittish. They cluster and, and form together as soon as there's danger and they try to move away from it as far as possible, as quickly as possible. For these ducks, that's not such a bad thing. Um, once we put them out on pasture, uh, there's going to be predator situations where you might have coyotes at the, the fence or you might have uh, foxes or martins at the fence. You'll have hawks swooping down and, uh, you know, that can uh, all those can all be sort of problems that, that we've got from predators. My hoping is that that skittishness and that clustering instinct actually helps keep these guys alive a little bit more by, uh, you know, alerting the whole flock to the predator and having them cluster up. So speaking of hawks, our next question is from my friend Bridget, who asks, would hawks grab the ducks? And, and the answer is that yes, absolutely hawks could grab the ducks. I'll probably make a future video about some of my hawk deterrent systems that I'm going to put into place, but uh, it's probably the biggest predator risk I've got going. This next question is from Mike, who's now living in New Jersey. Um, and Mike says, and it's not so much a question, I'm calling it right now. You're going to adopt that little runt. And I got to be honest with you, Allison wanted to do the exact same thing. She was the one who, who spent a ton of time those first couple days hand feeding that little duckling, um, jamming little grain pellets in its mouth, putting, you know, moisture and water into its mouth and dropping it in there. And so uh, she absolutely fell in love with that thing. And if she had her way, we would have adopted it. But I actually put my foot down and... Uh, 
you know, really explained, hey, look, these are farm animals. They can't be treated like pets. And, and we really can't be running like a, a home for wayward ducks here at the farm. That's just not in the vision and that's not in the plan. And I don't even think that that's all that sustainable. So uh, we will not be adopting the runt. And I think the good news there is too, I don't even know who the runt is anymore. He's, he's pretty much impossible to, to pick out of the pack at this point. Um, their growth has all sort of caught up and, uh, you know, he's gotten so big and successful that, that he's looking really good. All right. Um, oh, another question from my friend Bridget. So do the ducks have parents? Do they see a vet? So it's, I guess that's two questions, Bridget. And uh, the answers are, number one, yes, obviously the ducks have parents. Ducks are, um, you know, bred, so they have, like, what's just known as breeding stock at the hatchery. The hatchery collects those eggs, puts it in a giant incubator, and they sit in that incubator. I think it's for, like, 28 days, and they hatch in the incubator. And then once that happens, um, the ducklings are packed in a box and shipped off almost immediately. And so, uh, you know, we got our ducks. They were probably about two days old. I made a whole video about that as well. Um, and uh, I was really worried about them having the cross-country transit going from California to Vermont, but that was just, I guess, unfounded on my part. Um, they do it all the time. I shouldn't have thought that I knew better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as far as your question, Bridget, about the vet, um, no, they will not ever see a vet. Um, you know, animals like this, you know, just the cost effectiveness of going to a vet doesn't make sense. Um, I'm trying to raise these guys on completely organic feed um, with no antibiotics and no medication. I'm putting a lot of attention to um, making sure that they're raised uh, in a healthy, clean way which should keep a lot of the diseases down. Any other things that happen are generally just probably defects on a genetic level with the ducks. Um, as they get older, I might have issues in terms of the whole flock. And maybe if there was a problem with the whole flock, I might call the vet out there. But again, it's only 40 ducks. And let's see, these guys cost me, I don't know, about $220 or so. The cost of getting a vet out to here to the farm um, would probably be at least that, if not more. And so it just, you know, from a financial perspective, doesn't make much sense for them to see a vet. Uh, I'm just going to focus on good animal husbandry tactics and uh, hope for the best. So Bridget's brother, Pat, actually has a question as well. And Pat's question is this. If I send you a recipe for vegan duck confit, can you let some of the bros off the hook? Wow, Pat, that's a, a tall order, a pardon for some ducklings. And... Uh, uh, you know what? I will make this deal with you, my friend. If you provide me with the recipe for vegan duck confit, I will put it out here on the YouTube channel and I will pardon two additional male ducks just for you, just for the recipe. Um, I'm not going to go get into the whole ethics of, uh, veganism versus eating meat. Um, I'll just say I feel really good about eating these guys. They are animals that have been leading very healthy, happy lives. They're going to leave even greater lives once they get out on pasture as they get older and get their feathers. Um, and so I have no ethical qualms about eating them. I know that it can bum some people out, especially as I'm making all these cute little baby animal videos right now about the ducklings. And, you know, you guys know that probably about 40% of them are going to head off to the freezer. That said, I'm planning on carrying a handful of the males over to next year and, uh, yeah, they are, uh, I will give them a pardon. And like I said, I was only probably going to do three. But Pat, because of you, if you provide that vegan duck confit recipe, I will pardon two ducklings just for you, my friend. Um, so that's the deal. So that's all I got for Q&A for right now. Um, my, if you guys like this video, uh, let me know down in the comments section. I will maybe make another one in the near future. Keep sending me your questions and comments, whether they're on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. Um, and uh, we'll keep watching the ducks grow up. And very soon, they're going to be going outside, probably earlier than I had originally planned. So stay tuned.